What's up, YouTube? Sightcubing here, but you can call me Chris. Have you been using beginner's method, but recently you can't seem to get any faster, even with a lot of practice and shortcuts? If so, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you the method used by the top speed cubers. It's called First Two Layers, or F2L for short. First off, for the rest of this video, and all subsequent videos, I will call the middle edges the laterals. Unless it is obvious what edge I am referring to, in which case I will just use the word edge. Let's start with what we already know. We know that if we finish our first layer, the next step is to solve the laterals. We find a non-yellow edge on top, line it up to make a vertical bar, check to see which direction it goes, this one goes to the right, and perform the lateral algorithm. Away, open, in, close, across, open, in, close. So what did that actually do? Let's rewind. The lateral algorithm has two sections, each with four moves. The first section, called pairing, unsolves the white corner and places it next to the lateral. These two pieces together are called a pair. The second and last section of the algorithm, called insertion, resolves the white corner, but in a different way, so that the lateral is also solved. Therefore, the pair is solved. So with beginner's method, you solve your four white corners, only to take them all out again one by one later, so that you can pair them with their laterals and then reinsert. Isn't this a bit redundant? F2L is the answer to this. It is a list of about 40 algorithms, each with a pairing and insertion step. These algorithms cover almost all the possible ways the corner and edge could be arranged. One of these is our lateral algorithm that we just did. Obviously, this only works if the white corner is solved and the lateral is in the top layer. There is only one step to pairing. Hide the corner, twist the edge around the top, and show the corner. Repeat this until the corner and edge are paired. Hide the corner, twist the edge around the top, show the corner. There we go. It's that simple. Then we line up and insert. For now, insertion will be exactly the same every time. Just use the last four moves of the lateral algorithm. Here's the hole. We go across, open, in, close. Although there is only one step to pairing, there are three obstacles you may encounter. Obstacle number one, either the corner or edge is not on top. In this case, our edge is not on top. To fix this, just throw it to the top. It's that simple. This will mess up a cross piece, so make sure to move the top layer so that neither your corner nor edge gets moved when you reset the cross piece. Obstacle number two. You got the corner and edge on top, but the corner is white on top. To fix this, just throw the corner up. Again, this will mess up one of your cross pieces, so make sure to move the top layer so that neither your corner nor edge gets moved when you reset the cross piece. Obstacle number three. You got the corner and edge together, but the edge is flipped wrong. To fix this, hide the corner, twist the edge to the back, and show the corner. Throw the corner up and they will pair. Again, this will mess up one of your cross pieces, so make sure to move the top layer so that your pair doesn't get moved when you reset the cross piece. There you have it. You should now be able to solve any F2L pair. Just to make sure, let's go over a worst case scenario. Okay, neither our edge nor our corner is on top. This is simply obstacle number one. So let's throw our edge up. We throw it up, move it out of the way. We messed up our cross piece, so we're gonna put that back down. Same with the corner. We throw it up, move it out of the way. We messed up our cross piece, so we put that back down. So now, both our edge and our corner are on top, but the corner is white on top. This is simply obstacle number two. 
So let's throw it up. We throw it up, move the top layer so that both pieces are out of the way, and then we messed up our cross piece, so we just move that back down. Okay, this looks good. Let's try to pair. Hide the corner, twist the edge around, and show the corner. Not quite, maybe one more. So hide the corner, twist the edge around, and show the corner. Well, they're together, but the edge is flipped the wrong way. This is simply obstacle number three. To fix this, hide the corner, twist the edge around to the back, and show the corner. Throw the corner up, and they will pair. Then we just move it out of the way, and reset our cross piece. There we go, all paired up. Now, just like in the lateral algorithm, we line up, and insert. So that means across, open, in, close. New cubers attempting to pair may make three mistakes. Mistake number one, your corner and edge are together. The corner is not white on top. The edge is not flipped wrong, but something still isn't right. The problem here is that you've placed the edge on the wrong side of the corner. This edge needs to go here. To fix this, just hide the corner and start moving the edge around to the other side. But don't move it all the way. Just do a quarter turn or a half turn and then show the corner. Mistake number two. You're hiding the corner and moving the edge to the place where it should pair. But when you show the corner, the edge gets pushed into the middle layer. This is because you're failing to think in all three dimensions. If hiding the corner like this won't work, Look at it from the other angle and hide it like this. Now your edge will stay put when you show the corner. Mistake number three. Whenever you solve a new pair, you mess up one you've already finished. Here you see me solve the red-blue pair. But when I solve red-green, I've somehow messed up the red-blue pair. This problem has to do with slots. A slot is a way of thinking about the space where a corner and lateral should be. A slot is empty if it is unsolved, which means it just has random pieces in it. A slot is full if it is solved, which means it has the correct pair in it. If a slot is rotated so that it is on the top layer, it is called an exposed slot. Whenever you twist a side face up or down, such as in hiding a corner, throwing a corner, or throwing an edge, you are exposing a slot. In F2L, you must always make sure that every time you do one of these moves, the slot that you are exposing is empty. I hope this helps. Feel free to ask me any questions, and thanks for watching. Ooh,